What's up, y'all? It's Shandra with Divine Beauty Coaching, coming at y'all with another motivational message. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say my condolences to all the families that have suffered from this tragic, tragic loss in Texas. I have to say, I, I can't even imagine how your parents feel, but I am praying for you all. I'm praying for the families, even the ones who had to witness this tragedy. You know, that's that's definitely going to tug on many, many children's mental, even even the adults who had to witness this slaughter, um, you know, and, and that's kind of what my message is based on today. Um, you know, I just have to let you guys know. You know, I, do, I did a lot of praying, a lot of praying just, you know, because sometimes, you know, it's, it can be so much, so many things going on around us and, and we just don't understand. But that's when your faith comes in. You know, I want to talk about faith, having unshakable faith, trusting in God, knowing that God has a plan bigger than ours, bigger than our understanding. You know what I mean? We, you have to trust God in these times. Know that he has a plan that is going to work. You know, that's what faith is about, knowing without seeing. It might not look like it's working out, but I promise you, it is working out. It is working out. God has a plan. He has a divine plan that, that surpasses our understanding, and you just got to stand on that. Sometimes life is just going to throw you all kinds of curveballs that, that you may not understand, but that's where your faith comes in. You have to have faith in God to know that he is, he has a plan. He's doing something, you know, it's, it's, he, he no, no, nothing, um, that God does goes in vain. Nothing he says goes in vain. You have to understand God is doing something right now. You know what I mean? He's trying to wake his people up. He's trying to expose us to things and to help us to understand that it's time for us to change our lives around. It's time for us to come to him. You know what I mean? It's time for us to really have faith. He's testing our faith right now because um, a lot of times what we tend to do when tragic things happen in our lives, sometimes we tend to drift away from God. We tend to drift away from God because we can't see with our with our with our natural eyes, you know, the results or the miracle or the breakthrough that we've been waiting so patiently for. You know what I mean? But you got to trust. You got to have faith. You got, you got to you just know that God is going to come through because he is. He is. You got to keep believing. Keep believing. If he, if he said that things are going to be okay, if he said he's going to bring heaven on earth, he said this in his word, you guys. He said it. He said it. So that means he's going to make it happen. He didn't say when it was going to happen. It might take some time. And, and, and guess what? Before order becomes chaos, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get chaotic. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look like nothing is really happening. Like it's just getting worse and worse. But right in the nick of time, that's when God steps in. That's when God shows himself. That's when he reveals himself. That's when he becomes, that's when you see that miracle um, come in. I'm telling y'all what I know. Um, I just want y'all to know, like, you have to have faith and pray. Pray like you never have before. This is the time, y'all, all month long, I've been discussing prayer. And this is the time to take your weapon that God has given to us to pray and pray hard. Pray for everybody. Pray for this whole entire world. Okay. We got to pray, y'all. We got to pray, okay? God said that he will bind anything on earth that you send up to him. You just keep sending it up to him. Just pray until something happens. Pray it till, until something happens. Keep on praying, even when you don't see it, even when it hurts, even when you, your tears are falling from your eyes. I'm telling you, I shed a lot of tears. I shed a lot of tears, especially behind this event, because, you know, our human brain naturally wants to understand we naturally want to understand what, what is really happening here. You know, God, we, we, can you please reveal yourself? Can you please help us to understand? But God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And some things you're not going to, the thing is, we, we're not going to always receive that validation that we're looking for in regards to understanding what he's doing. Sometimes we may not understand, but understand we serve a miraculous God. We serve a big God. That is not of this world. So when he steps in, we're going to see the miracle. We're going to see the breakthrough. He's going to do it. He's going to do it for us. But just trust that everything is happening according to his will, according to his plan. Okay? You got to have faith. 
He said, all you need is faith of a mustard seed. It might not be big faith, but you really got to stand on what, what you believe. You got to really believe. Keep on believing. Keep on interceding. Keep on going to him. Keep on talking to him. You know what I mean? That's what Jesus have to do. Think about Job in the Bible. You know, Job, he went through a great deal of things. When I tell you, Job lost everything. His children, his wife, his everything. To the point where he was... He was in the uh, in the pen with the with the pigs. Think about it. He lost everything, but guess what? He didn't lose his faith in God. <laughs> he didn't lose his faith in God. He didn't. Even when it when everything looked like it was everything looked like when it, it was going completely wrong, God was working. He was working in the spiritual realm. The thing is, we don't we understand. The only thing we can really uh, we have an understanding of is is what's happening here. On the earth realm, but understand in the spiritual realm, God is working. And, and guess what? It has to happen in the spiritual realm before it can even come to the earthly realm. So understand you have to just trust in God. Okay? Trust in him. Believe in him. Pray for the people who are losing their children, who have lost their children. Pray, pray for our mental health as a whole, as a unit. Mental health is so important. Let me, let me, I want to rest on that for just a small, a small bit of time. Mental health is important, y'all. If you're struggling, you're going through something, please find somebody to talk to. Find somebody to talk to. Heal from your trauma. It's okay that you're not perfect because that's the even though the world may have the expectation of oh people have to live this way or do this way that's not the truth that's not true okay we we can't worry about what others think everybody's on a different part of their journey but you you can get help you can get help a lot of us are are afraid that things are not going to work out but what if they did what if they worked out exactly the way that they needed to but you won't know until you try it. You won't know until you try it. You know, you don't understand. You, you know, you got to put in a little bit in order to get some results. You got to put in something to regain results from what you're looking to receive. You got to. So even if it's just starting with healing yourself, you know what I mean? Uh, unveiling the trauma that you've been through, you know, realizing where you where you're going wrong. You know what I mean? Sometimes we, we believe, oh, I'm like this because of other people, when sometimes it can just simply be because we, we need to heal, you know? And because we're not healed, we're bleeding on other people. And some of us think we are, oh, I got it all together. I'm fine. But in reality, you know, sometimes we have to look at how we're making other people feel in the process. You know what I mean? Um, and, and that's a conviction of myself. You know what I'm saying? I've I've always for myself always wanted to see how it why oh it's the other person this is why I'm like this this is why da 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 da, da. no but I had to realize like no you just need to heal you need to you need to heal and that's all it takes it's to first realize you have to first realize there is a problem but guess what even every problem has a solution every single one I don't care what it is I don't care what it is every single problem has a solution that you can find. So I just want to encourage you guys, take care of your mental health. You know, examine why you feel the things that you feel. Examine why you feel angry. Examine, your, exam, examine why you feel sad. Examine why you feel hurt. And it's okay. You don't have to live up to people's standards. You're on your own walk. You're on your own journey. So just walk your journey. And guess what? Whoever stays, stays. Whoever goes, goes. That's just God's way of showing you who's meant to go to the next level with you and who's not, who has to fall off. And that's okay. But understand, God will never leave you alone. You're never alone. You're, he's always with you. And I promise you, it's just a matter of time before he brings the right people that, that will love you and show you the love and show you everything that you need. They will, they will provide to you everything that you need. You can have, you're going to have that person you can confide in. You're going to have that person you can trust or people you can trust. I'm telling you what I know. Just be patient. Wait on the Lord. Trust in him. Have faith in him. Okay? There is hope for your future. 
there is hope for the future of this world. Okay, I know it looks chaotic right now. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but all we can do is pray. That's when, when, we, when it doesn't make sense, the best thing you can do is turn to God. The best thing you can do is turn to God and talk to him. Tell him how you feel. Even if you're upset, even if you're frustrated, you sad, whatever emotion that you feel, you're angry, whatever, it doesn't matter. He wants to hear from you with those emotions, all of them. You, you feel weary. You feel nervous. You don't know what's going to happen next. You feel fearful. He wants you to come to him because he will help you to strengthen your faith. He will help you to believe in him and trust in him. Okay? That's all I have for y'all today. Y'all stay prayed up. Make sure y'all continuously pray and intercede for this world, for this country, for the, our children. Let me tell you something. Our children are the future. Our children are the future. So we have to make these changes for them so we can lead by example and show them that healing is, is necessary. You know, having being in that right state of mind is necessary. It is totally necessary. Okay, because if you don't get your mental together, it's, it'll take you down a dark path that you, you may not be able to get yourself out of. So start today. Start now. All right. I love y'all so much. Y'all, if you want to book a session with me, go ahead and um, I'll put my link in the description. You can um, go to www.divinebeautycoaching.com and um, book a session with me. I'm also doing free prayer calls. If anybody's looking to just have prayer, you know, just pray, you know, you just need to just have, you don't know how to pray, but you just want somebody to pray with you. I'm there for you. Okay. I'll intercede with you. You know, just let me know whatever it is. It's, it, it, it's going to be confidential. You don't have to worry about anybody trying to intrude or anything like that or anybody's. No, it's none of that. Just understand that I'm here for you. If, if nobody, if you don't have anybody else, I I'm here, I'm here. I'm, I'm very much here. I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to be there for you if you need that person to be there. But definitely check out the website. Check me out on all my social media platforms, um, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. That'll also be in the description. And I want y'all to have a blessed, prosperous day and keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep hope alive. All right. I love y'all so much. Take care. Peace.